What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the Olympia Prep. Today I'm going to be bringing you through a little bit of my morning routine. It's pretty basic. Roll out of bed, fresh out of bed. Whatever I slept in the night before, I usually throw on this exact hoodie. I haven't washed it in like two weeks. I come down, I get some of this lovely filtered water that Courtney is a huge fan of. She's up there, she loves her filtered water. Keeping all the heavy metals and fluoride out of me is the goal. I take some of this. I usually have BCAs or EAs. Normally I do EAs, but this is that new product. I've been really liking the flavor of it. So I take some of this, put it in my water, and then we're gonna head downstairs and get on the OG treadmill that my parents gave me because they're moving. And this is the same treadmill I used in like 2016 in the prep I used to get my pro card in my parents' basement. Now it's in my basement, so pretty nostalgic, pretty cool, but yeah. Cardio hasn't been crazy. I got 35 minutes on most days, on every day, and then off days it's like 45, and I do a little bit more if I feel like it. So nothing crazy yet, but we're gonna get down there. All right, so cardio, first thing I really do in the morning, I'm one of those people who likes to wake up, get straight out of bed, get my BCAs, get a drink, come down and get right on the treadmill when I'm still half asleep. That way it kind of like, as I'm waking up, it kind of gets rid of the first 10 minutes of cardio. And normally, when I don't have the like camera in my face or anyone around, I play like this like meditation type music and I close my eyes right when I start. And I try to like breathe and relax and I do like a reflection on the week and I do like, shit I'm grateful for and I try and like visualize stuff at the Olympia and I've gotten really good at that honestly since doing this and it's something that puts me in like a really good headspace at the beginning of the day I'm really trying to like visualize confidence and health and just like excitement leading into the Olympia and it's just a good way to start my day and normally I can like close my eyes do my cardio and by the time I'm like done that routine I open it I'm at like 20-25 minutes and I usually do about 35 minutes of cardio every morning, so it's already pretty much over at that point. And yeah, it's an easy way to get rid of cardio. If I'm not doing that, I watch some Netflix, just fucking numb the time out. And then after that, I usually stretch some abs, some shit like that. So I'll show you that after. All right, so after cardio, uh, probably five times a week, maybe, I do abs now. I have my roller right here, which some days I'll do a bunch of these. Other days, I'll just get off the treadmill and I do like leg lifts and like extensions like this. I don't know what the, what the hell to call this. You'll see them in a second. But I really try not to do anything like heavy or weighted or super intense for my abs. But I don't want them to get bulky and I don't want them to get too tight that it's difficult for me to vacuum. Usually only do body weight stuff like that and really trying to focus on lower abs. I've always had pretty well developed upper abs. My lower abs are always a little harder to maintain and everything like that. And it helps you pose, hits your ab and thigh pose and just keep those tight like lower abs sucked in when you're on stage because you never want your stomach hanging out. So yeah, abs, pretty basic routine. I don't train them all year something I've never really trained a whole lot, so I don't like pushing it to the limits because I'd rather hit a vacuum deep than have blocky abs as a classic physique competitor. <laughs>
All right, so next part of the morning routine. This is the fun part. This is the cold part. This is where I get in my nice little cold bath. I show you guys making that. It's literally just a chest freezer. I don't do this every single day, but I do it pretty often and definitely on every rest day. And I understand people are like, oh, it's not good for hypertrophy and gains and shit, blah, blah. And I get that. I don't do it immediately post-workout. I understand that inflammation post-workout is good and it's for recovery and getting nutrients to your muscle. I do it in the morning way before I train, way after I train, and usually on off days. And I usually sit in there from like 10 to 15 minutes on average. I put a timer on my watch, and this is like another part of my morning where I'm kind of like getting myself in the right headspace for the day. I like sit there and I close my eyes, listen to some like meditation music, and I try and just let the full 10 minutes or so go by. It was just like eyes closed, just like relaxing, being in the moment, no distractions, no bullshit like that. And yeah, but this is definitely one of those things where like your ego tries to get to you. And like every morning I'm like, oh, it's cold. Oh, it's snowing outside. Oh, it's a fucking blizzard. I don't want to do it. And then every time you suck it up and actually get your ass in the cold tub, get over that initial 30 seconds of freezing and relax and enjoy it. You always feel good. I feel proud I got my ass in there. So let's go freeze my ass off. All right, so next up is breakfast. The most lovely meal of the day, I would, I would say. I'm pretty f really freaking low in fats right now, so eating these whole eggs is delicious. But I cook some eggs, rel kind of over easy. I flip them over for like a quick second, and then I take them off the pan because I like the yolk being extra runny right now. Like I said, I'm deprived of fat, so I literally lick that egg yolk off the plate when I'm done. That, two whole eggs, 200 grams of egg whites, and I have 60 grams of oats with half a scoop of chocolate peanut butter protein. This literally tastes like crack when I'm in prep. So shout out to Jack Factory for hooking that up. Definitely a delicious thing. And yeah, this is my breakfast. It looks like it's a decent amount, but it disappears in about 30 seconds and I'm left pretty hungry, but I still enjoy every single second of it. That's what she said. That's what she said. All right, all right, mates. Today, aujourd'hui, nous allons à la gymnase et on va traîner les épaules. 
I have no idea how to say shoulders. I'm putting subtitles for that. I don't know how to speak French, but hopefully that made sense. I don't know what shoulders are in French, but we're going to the gym. We're going to chin shoulders. We're slightly late right now. The podcast we just filmed today ran late. So if you guys want to watch the podcast, go to Paradise on Fire. But I gotta go to the gym right now, so we'll see you at the gym. Why was that so fast? Because we gotta go. We're late. Let's go. All eyes on the way I thought when I walk into the room. Underneath the soles of my brand new parachute I got the attention I'm on a mission No sweat in the way I step I got a fresh new attitude Oh my, my, my Oh my, my, my Call me the king Buy me a crown Oh my, my, my Oh my, my, my I'm leveled up And this is my world now
All right, the wrap on the workout today. Little shoulders, a little bit of chest. Feeling flat, but feeling lean. Feeling pretty good. Energy's honestly picked up a little bit. And now that my food's down again, it'll probably drop it again. But it's grind time. It's time to get absolutely fucking shredded. So when we get home, get a little more food in me, and call it a night. All right, so that's gonna be wrap on the day. This is how exciting my the end of my day looks. Talk about getting in your fucking greens. This is my meal right here. This is all I get to eat. I'm on a new zero protein, zero carb, zero fat, 100% fiber diet. I'll tell you when the Olympia. What are you going zooming in on? Fiber because like you fun. Oh, that was a horrible joke. Cut that shit out. But yeah, that's a wrap on today's day. It was a pretty chill day, you know? This is what prep is all about. Same shit every day. You saw my morning routine. Literally what I've done every single day for the last 10 weeks and what I'll do for the next four weeks until we leave for Orlando at least. But yeah, I'm gonna cook up this meal. Call it a day, no carbs, so eating my veggies, getting healthy, AF. And tomorrow's a new day, so I'll catch you in the next video.